Hello everyone, my name is Jacob Wall. Today I would like to talk about how smart are scientists? Okay, one day I told um, someone that I know that no one is smarter than no one, in my opinion. Now, is some people smart? Yes. How smart are they? I don't know. But I will tell you this, that just because I do these videos doesn't mean I'm smart. I only can know as much as I can know. Here's the thing. Scientists does not know everything. They may be smart, but they're not 100% smart. If they were 100% smart, they would be right each and every time. Um, at the beginning of the video, I said that no one is smarter than no one in my opinion. Okay. Here's what I meant by that. I mean that there cannot be a smartest person on earth. If there was a smartest person on earth, they would know how to do everything. Now, there might be a smartest um, person um, that knows how to work on computers or anything like that. Like Edison, he was probably smart as working on light bulbs. So, um, scientists are not a hundred percent smart. That's what topic I wanted to bring up on my video today. It is time to get saved. I would like you to go to Romans chapter 3 and verse 23. For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. That means we all have sinned. We all have made mistakes. I would like you to go to Romans chapter 6 and verse 23. For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. Because we all have sinned, we all deserve to die and go to hell. But don't worry, I, I got another verse to show you, and that is Romans chapter 5 and verse 8. But God dismantles his own love toward us, and that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. Christ died for us. He died for me and you, so we don't have to go to hell when we die. But we have to do one thing, though, and I would like you to go to Romans chapter 10, verse 9 through 10, and we'll jump over to verse 13. That if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, you will be saved. For with the heart one believes unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. For whoever calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Once you ask God to come into your heart, you will be saved. Hey, if you feel that tug in your heart, um, please get saved right now. 
don't wait till tomorrow, don't wait till next week, because there may not be a tomorrow, there may not be a next week. Um, and, and like I said on my other video, half of you saved on my video. You can get saved anytime you want. I mean, you can even get saved on my video at any time, because I don't delete my videos. Alright, let's pray these words um, if you're not saved. Dear Jesus, I know that I am a sinner and that you died and rose from the dead for me. Please forgive me for my sin and take me to heaven when I die. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. If you just prayed with me, you are now saved. I'd like you to go to 1 John chapter 5, verse 11 to 13. And this is the testimony that God has given us eternal life and this life is in his son. He who has the son has life. He who does not have the son of God does not have life. These things I have written to you who believe in the name of the son of God that you may know that you have eternal life and that you may continue to believe in the name of the Son of God. You can know that you are saved. It's not a hope so, it's a no so. I would like you to go to John chapter 10 and verse 28. And I give them eternal life, and they shall never perish, neither shall anyone snatch them out of my hand. I like that verse. No one cannot take you away from God. No one cannot. I would like you to go to Matthew chapter 28, verse 18 to 20. And Jesus came and spoke to them, saying, All authority has been given to me in heaven and on earth. Go therefore and make disciples of all the nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all things that I have committed you, and lo, I am with you always even to the end of the age. Amen. Baptism is the next step after getting saved. And baptism is not going to get you to heaven. I would like you to go to Acts chapter 2, verse 41 through 42. Then those who gladly received his word were baptized, and that day about 3,000 souls were added to them, and they continued steadfastly in the apostles' doctrine and fellowship in the breaking of bread and in prayers. Go to church and learn about the gospel. I'd like you to go to First Peter chapter two and verse two. As newborn babes desire the poor milk of the world, word that you may grow thereby. I like you to go to Philippines chapter four, verse six to seven.
be anxious for nothing, but everything by prayer, and supplication with thanksgiving. Let your request be made known to God, and the peace of God which suppresses all understanding will guard your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. Read your Bible and pray every day. Prayer changes things. Last verse. I'd like you to go to John chapter 3 and verse 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. God loves us. He loves me and you. That's all I have. Um, next week, I would like to talk about what is Thanksgiving. I would like to talk about that next week. Goodbye, everyone.